Joining us right now is one of the co-founders of AFC, uh, Brandy Christian, a two-time World Cup champion and two-time Olympic gold medalist and a uh, Bay FC co-founder, also uh, Bay FC CEO, Brady Stewart. Good morning to you. Um, I think, I mean, it's been a remarkable sort of ride that you guys have, have begun on in the journey, but um, I, I, I'd start with, uh, start with you, uh, Brady. Sort of where does this all go when you think of this as, as a business and as um, an investment? Yeah, absolutely. What I'm focused on is building Bay FC to be an iconic team here in the Bay Area but also building it into an iconic global franchise. And, and, what, and what does that mean? What does that entail? And where, where are you in that journey? We're just getting started. We're incredibly fortunate, as you mentioned. Sixth Street made the largest investment in uh, a women's sports team in our, in our team. They put $125 million into the team. And where we go is we're trying to harness the incredible interest and momentum that is, we have for women's sports today. The NWSL opening weekend attendance was up 50 percent. We know that when NWSL games are on TV, they get the same viewership as the MLS games. We're trying to harness this and really bring it to life. Brandy, what, what's your sense of uh, just fan engagement <laughs> um, and, and not just the fan engagement issue, but really the issue of sponsorship, how important it ultimately is, not just uh, for the, to get TV licensing deals, but to have sponsors out there really pushing this in a way that, that uh, they, I mean, they, I, I would argue they have, but they, they probably need to do a lot more. Well, if you, if you look historically over the growth of women's soccer starting in 1996 and specifically 1999, the explosion of women's soccer has been exponential. Uh, the thing that we have always known is that women's soccer and women's sports has the richest, deepest, most talented um, well um, out there that has been untapped. So for sponsors, big brands, um, if they if they are looking to for the new frontier, it is women and women in sports. So for me, this is a, you know, I've been on this crusade for I'd say nearly five, you know, five decades. Um, but the growth of women's soccer just recently with NWSL just proves that we are going on a trajectory that is like literally like a rocket ship. And so, again, if you're a big business and you want to have your brands associated with something that is spectacular, it's women's soccer and it's Bay FC. It's the right resources. It's the right people. It's got great leadership. We have a great business structure. We have amazing demographics here in the Bay. We are nine counties connected by nine bridges. And we are we have a winning mentality that uh, is about championships. And that's what we want right. to pro produce and provide. Brandy, there's a lo long been big debates, as you know, about uh, pay. The pay disparity, both between men and women, uh, on the field yeah. and off. Um, what what's the uh, the going rate right now in terms of what pay looks like? Uh, you know what? I'm going to defer to Brady because she's our leader and she okay. she'll know more about that than than I do. Um, it's it's increasing that I know and that I'm very proud about. Um, having been with the U.S. Women's National Team from the jump start in the in the late '80s. Uh, we have made huge strides. Uh, U.S. soccer has been a part of the crusade to have pay equity. Um, but I will let Brady speak to um, the NWSL and our right. and our team. Yeah, Brady? I mean, I think the way to think about it is soccer is the most popular sport in the globe. And our women athletes are the best soccer athletes in the world. And so when we look at that and we look at the tra trajectory of building this into an iconic brand, building it into a global franchise, where we want to take this is obviously that we are rewarding our athletes.